What's up babes and welcome back to another video. It is Vazi. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. And please do go ahead, click that subscribe button and click on your notifications so you can keep up with every video that I post. If you're coming back, welcome back and thank you so much. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved my Havana twists. However, as you can see from the title, the first portion of this was slightly an epic fail, but please stay tuned so I can show you guys how I did redeem myself. So here you'll see that I'm going to go ahead and start sectioning off my hair. I'm going to start by sectioning off the front half so that way I can start at the back. Alright guys, so here I'm going to start sectioning the back, very back portion into two ponytails. And then I'm going to be using Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. Guys, this paste is amazing. It's more like a jam than it is like a gel or whatever. Honestly, this just has a really nice hold and when I ran across this product, I became an instant fan. So here you see that I have two ponytails going because... Mind you, we're going to be trying the rubber band method. So you see I'll apply the paste again to the section on the other side. And I'm just going to go ahead and brush that in and plait it up as well. So I felt to mention before, but my hair is in a stretch state. I actually did blow dry it out so that I can achieve this style. I would definitely recommend that blow drying your hair or stretching it before doing these savannah twists because honestly doing it on wet hair you may not get it as smooth to the twist as you want so I did blow dry my hair and yeah.
guys so I literally plotted my entire head just to not go through with this particular way of doing my Havana twist however I thought it was pretty dope to see my head plotted I don't know I guess to be able to see my scalp in the plots hmm. anyway so this Jamaican braid here I did get four packs of this and it actually is two times the regular hair in a single pack it came with two bundles in each so here you see that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, what I'm starting off with is two pieces of the Marley braid hair. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and take the crochet hook and stick it through from the back to the front. I'm gonna hook the hair in, pull it through. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and separate it into two sections here. Now once I have the two sections, I'm of course going to split my hair into two sections and then we're going to begin twisting. Hey. To aid in twisting, I'm going to be using Pantene's Gold Series Curl Defining Pudding. And this stuff is just as amazing, you guys. It has amazing slip and that's exactly what you want when you're doing your Havana twist. You want some product that is going to help with the slip and twist. So honestly guys, here's when I really realized that this is not what I was wanting. It wasn't as thick as I was wanting it to be and the rubber band was actually slipping. I think there's a way where you tie a knot to prevent it from slipping, but that wasn't a natural look for me, so it just didn't work. Okay guys, so I quickly realized that doing the Havana twist with the rubber band method just was not working out for me. I thought this method was going to be quicker and easier and I was going to get done in half the amount of time that I would usually get done if I did the Havana twist in the original way. But that wasn't the case. So I'm going to go ahead and slide to the next clip so you guys can see how I did achieve this look by doing the Havana twist the original way. Hey guys, so I'm coming to you I think about a week or two after me originally doing my Havana twist. By the time I realized the rubber band method wasn't for me, it was late and I just did not record that portion. So I'm going to show you guys here how you can achieve this look doing it the original way and how you can also, you know, freshen up the front if you have had them for a couple of weeks. So here you see that I ended up using four pieces of hair instead of the two because I wasn't satisfied with the thickness. And then I'm just going to do the same thing pretty much. I'm going to use the curl defining pudding to help with the slip. Okay, so after I've laid my edges, I'm going to go ahead and split my hair in two. Remember, you're going to split your hair in two while adding the Marley braid in as well. You're going to twist away from your face with both portions. And as you get them both twisted away from your face, you're going to join them together and twist them together. While you're twisting, you got to remember that you're going to twist the sections of hair individually while twisting them together. I'm not sure if that makes much sense but I'm going to show you one more time here in a second. Okay, so one more time, we're splitting our hair in two while applying the Marley braid. You're going to twist away from your face on the first section and twist away from your face on the second section then you will join both portions together while twisting each single strand and twisting them over and boom there is your Havana twist Here is the finished product. 
as you can see it looks really natural it looks like it is my hair coming directly from my scalp they are about waist length i believe here you can see from the back and then also a shot here from the front and yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video if you like this one please give me a good thumbs up make sure you subscribe and cut on the bell if you haven't already and until next time i'll talk to you in the next video